Hello and welcome to a city that many people regard as the gateway to the glorious Jurassic Coast, Bournemouth. I'm Derek Ray and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Bournemouth up against West Ham United. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Number 16, Marcus Tavernier. Number 28, Emiliano Macondes. And number 23, Dominic Solanke. And the starting 11 for Bournemouth. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. And a look at the West Ham 11. Well, they're playing the same shape, really. So it's all about getting control of that central area. And which of the wide players has the greatest effect on the game? And the match is underway. Going well. Chance to cross. Now they stopped them in their tracks. And that will be a corner. Who's going to get on the end of it? Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. In the opinion of the referee, that is a penalty. <laughs> this to open the scoring here. And the keeper denies them from the spot. Short corner taken. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. A good and fair challenge. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? I would describe him as majestic when he's playing at his best. He glides past defenders, he's got that ability. Oh, Stuart, they must score! And a goal! 1-0, and what a fast start they've made to this game! Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. Well, back underway, and 1 0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Marcus Tavernier. Emiliano Marcondes. And here now is Lewis Cook. And a creative look about this. But nothing comes of it. Ben Rama. 
on to Paqueta. Antonio. They do pass the ball with authority. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Solanke. Antonio. Press well. So a corner to West Ham as they try to press home their advantage. And the short option preferred. Zuma. Antonio! Corner conceded. It came off the defender. And played short. Determined defending. It's one corner after another. Now sending it in. And still dangerous. Takes the shot. And smacked against the crossbar. Goal kick here. Traore. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Billing. Well, showing excellent judgment to intercept. Well, it's been quite clear that West Ham have been second best in terms of possession, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. Yes, really good without the ball, and the all-around performance levels have been high. Well, a chance for West Ham to extend their advantage from this corner. <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately. It comes to nothing in the end. Paqueta. Now with Ben Rahma. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Well, inching towards half-time, and probably fair to say the fans were hoping for a little bit better than this. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, it's been a fairly even first half so far, but they haven't shown enough creativity, particularly in midfield, where there's been too many negative passes. If they can get the ball into the front areas that little bit quicker, I think they'll get back into this. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. Jared Bowen in possession Bowen Tomasz Socek now can they make something happen and he's in an offside position Possession one. Marcus Tavernier.
on to Paqueta not a bit of an unforced error and it's going to be a throw there will be three minutes added on at the end Tavernier chance to finish oh great defending Well, that's going to be all for the first half here at the Vitality Stadium. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. Into the second half then, West Ham with the advantage, but certainly no room for complacency. Superb block on the back of the ball from the flank. Strong hand on that one. Traore. The ball back with West Ham now. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. Now, what can they do from here? Well, disappointing end to the move. Philip Billing. And here now is Lewis Cook. Oh, nice work to get past his opponent. Tavernier. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Said Ben Rama. They've regained possession. 30 minutes to go then. Attacking possibilities for West Ham. Paqueta. On to Antonio. It's got to be! And a goal! To things for them two in front well I have to say this is a really good goal just look how well balanced he is he knows he's going to be under pressure but he shows great composure to hit the target So 2-0 now. Number 22, Saeed Ben Rama. Substitution for Bournemouth. And stuffing out the danger. Number 28, Emiliano Macundes. Well, as you can see, West Ham have had most of the ball and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Yes, yeah, really going so well for them. And who knows, they might be able to craft another opportunity. Antonio couldn't keep it. Can they get in behind them? Twenty minutes remaining. Smith, Marcus Tavernier, Soranke. A fine use of the ball. Opportunity for them to get back into the game. And oh, it's in! 
We cannot declare this contest over. They still believe. Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. So the ball is rolling again, 2-1 the scoreline. Ben Rama. Aaron Cresswell. Encouraging move from West Ham. Cresswell. On to Antonio. Maximum commitment, and he's given away the corner. Here it is now, a substitution. And they're going for the short one. Antonio, big chance. Oh, did so well to deny him. Well, that save has just about kept them in it. But they have to pose more of a threat at the other end. Just the challenge that was required. Well, it hasn't been a great performance, but the fans have been brilliant. Just listen to the noise. Can the players respond and find this equaliser? Oh, a nice-looking pass. And he's fired it against the post. Danger averted for now. Well, how close was that? Will they get another chance to get this equaliser? Time's running out on them now. Paqueta. Well, when you can keep the ball like this, it's got to be really annoying for the opposition. Well, time just challenged magnificently. Lewis Cook. Traore. They've got to be really mindful of the time situation, attacking though they might be. Well, disappointing end to the move. Nayef Aguer. Applying vigorous pressure. A really sumptuous ball. And a goal to level it up late on here. Just look at the reaction. Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened there. Well, the referee blows the whistle. Nothing to divide them after 90 minutes. And they kick off here. And the keeper denies them from the spot. And a goal! 1-0. And what a fast start they've made to this game. Takes the shot. And smacked against the crossbar. Goal kick here. Paqueta. On to Antonio. It's got to be. A fine use of the ball. And oh, it's in. We cannot declare this contest over. They still believe. 
applying vigorous pressure. A really sumptuous ball. And a goal to level it up late on here. Just look at the reaction.